love bugs once again it is your girl Lily love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden not your heart for i am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn lord have mercy thank you <laughs> thank you for your uh like subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's go ahead and get into it it's a lot of fire in the room someone's passions are overflowing this could be a fire sign or this could just be someone functioning out of a fire sign they're very emotional they're very uh upset they're in turmoil this woman you know in some terms she could look like she is uh conjuring some sort of fire some sort of seductive energy but um you i'm getting this sent her to hell whatever this is that sent her to hell it has her mentally trapped in her mind and this person's upset because uh you could possibly be a fire sign as well but this person's upset uh that you know everything's working out for you maybe this person is upset that everything maybe in a home that they wanted could have possibly went crazy this person's home could have possibly caught on fire because of some sort of containment spell trying to be you trying to cook up what you were cooking cooking up what you cook up maybe you you have a divine partner divine relationship from the hard work that you're doing possibly could have some sort of business that you're going to be taking off in you know you just got a lot of good shit going on in your life see all these sparkles around you got a lot of shit that's going off in your life and this person wants some of it this person wants to conjure it this person wants to make it maybe this person tried to conjure and they burnt their shit down now i know i keep saying that and then i just saw a flash of someone's baby picture maybe someone took a picture of your baby picture what maybe this is somebody you might have known close enough to say since you guys were a baby i don't know why did i see a baby picture somebody's worried about a baby somebody wants to show you a baby's picture to get you upset and mad what the fuck it's <laughs> this person gonna be trying to send some sort of form of communication to let you know that they had a baby by somebody but they did some sort of spiritual magic to have a baby by this person what the fuck i don't think this person wants to tell you this or maybe this person does I don't think so. I, listen, this person want to tell you that they had, okay, okay, <laughs> talk to me, spirit. Now, this person want to tell you that they had a baby by whoever this was or that they ended up having a baby and the baby didn't, oh, I'm hearing baby didn't turn out right or something didn't turn out with the baby. I don't know. They want to give you this message, but um, they kind of want to tell you that things didn't turn out with, right with the person that they was with and they had a baby and blah, 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 blah. But I'm getting they want to keep the secret of who the person is. They want to keep the secret of who the person is so that uh they can use it later on in their advantage to try to get you upset they want to get you mad it's like they want to fight so they want to provoke you to fight um oh excuse me i'm burping they want to get into it with you because of this union that they tried to make this person could have been doing a lot of uh dark magic in order to get this union or in order to lay with this person maybe this person was trying to do some dark magic to make this person feel very passionate for them so that they can get in the union with them they can get married they can have kids they can have a whole family and then the word would get back to you and she used occultic magic to try to do so um she did all this magic tried to turn around and see if it worked and scried on you and fuck no bro it didn't work at all i'm getting whoever this is she want to fight you over don't even you, i'm here don't even want you so she wants you to believe that this person doesn't want you but she didn't caught this person looking at you weird okay whatever man <laughs> whatever magic what oh my god i'm also getting that she knows that when this person lay with her he's thinking of you because that's the shit she was doing she was mirroring energy she was copying your energy she was trying to be your reflection your twin your doppelganger so that she can get the same things that you were getting in life and she was sleeping with somebody who you possibly had fulfillment with love with maybe a divine partner of yours or someone who could have been a divine partner because i'm telling you i see this witch he could have had the possibility to be a divine partner he got the message he ignored it because he likes women of the night okay that's what i'm getting off that witch he likes women of the night he could also like other witches and he's a witch okay i mean he's a wizard okay but this mask and had passion for this woman because some shit she was doing behind closed doors or putting in his dream to get fulfillment now it's not working she wasn't respecting his boundaries he found out she also was not respecting your boundaries she didn't respect nobody boundaries with this dark witchcraft she was doing damn and she did she she boy get the fuck out what do you mean she didn't earth what did she do tarot cards i'm getting incubation and earth she could have buried something she could have did some uh work that didn't respect this masculine's boundaries to get pregnant and that's why she ended up losing this child jesus she could have been trying to plan to do something to get pregnant with you know and this man is rejecting her offers she trying to figure out why she came across the fact that whatever ritual she did to get success didn't work for her it might have worked for somebody else 
maybe some people that she kick it with or some people she was doing rituals with it might have worked for them so that they had fulfillment um and shit but not with this masculine ah this is this this just say the lord god she couldn't hold the baby and she prayed to god for this or she prayed to she you she her and a bunch of witches prayed to a a i'm getting a, a earth uh earth spirit could be a fallen angel like a goat spirit pan possibly they could have been using some earth magic to conjure pan to get what it is they want or they could just have this incubus uh or succubus spirit attached to them and they wanted to get pregnant or this succubus incubus spirit that was within them okay so if it's a female succubus that was within them but i'm hearing incubus too so they had the same spirit this masculine had that same spirit he knew what he was doing when he was sleeping with this girl raw he was doing it on purpose he was doing it on purpose both of them was casting spells on you basically both of them was speaking negative about you pillow talking all kind of weird shit like that intensifying the magic that she was doing in the background or maybe she was doing some magic that intensified this person's hate for you and ad adoration i'm hearing for her and now that this energy is cleansed book of shadow now this energy is cleansed and this man wants fertility elsewhere with the healer and he found out that this woman was cloaking in this healer's energy so she could have been cloaking in your energy with some spell work trying to get pregnant by this man so she can come rub it in your face like this is really what the fuck going on also she wanted to trap another baby daddy for security that's what i heard look at all these flowers she got multiple kids she wanted to trap somebody else witch's cottage these flowers in front of the witch's cottage she wanted to trap somebody else this masculine was awakened that she was using herbs and all kind of bullshit to try to trap him into having a baby and he bucked on her ass he was like hell no he wants a rebirth with you but you protected from all they ass. You don't want to deal with them. Something happened in the summer. Y'all could be from the south. A lot of clearance could have been going on. A lot of clearance could have been going on. Your clearing of these people in their south node. Out of your energy because you're protected. And that's why you have a divine. Yeah, you 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 have a divine union coming for you because this was trash. This masculine slept with this feminine regardless. Okay. That was, yeah, it was his intention. to. He wants to send intentions towards you, but I'm getting it was his intention to sleep with her to piss you off. And it was her intention to make him do it without a condom. She felt like they was close enough. They didn't need to have boundaries like that. So she could have been using that to blackmail this masculine. Oh, you know, you don't need to wear no condom. Me and you already, okay, this could be recent. Me and you done already had a baby or me and you, you know, trying to get closer. I don't know, it's some shit. He banished this woman out of his life because of this hex. He found out the truth about what this woman was doing. Um, getting something by which South she could have been taking some of his uh, semen or some of his uh, pubic hairs to use some sort of magic but again she wanted to get she got mad with you because this shit got cleansed out of this man's energy it's like everything that go bad for this woman she's blaming it on you she thinks that you're doing it but it's just the it's the fact that she's doing it against somebody she shouldn't be working against it's the fact that she got you on this altar and she's obsessed altar Helga Pataki <laughs> she's dedicated to working against you dedicated to stopping things from you dedicated to whatever spirit this is or whatever spirit guy she has to work with to try to balance out her life by working against an alchemist okay but your ancestors ain't having that shit your divine feminine energy is too elevated to be as upset. So basically, she's trying to do things. She fucking on your ex or fucking on people uh, that, sh you know, exes of yours or finding old friends of yours to try to pull on you, to pull on your energy. She wants your attention and she's upset because you won't give her no attention. You keep looking towards a different direction. She's stuck in the past and you're moving forward. Something about the West. She can stay on the West side of town. Uh, she could be from the west side of town or wherever you from. She could be on the west side of, you know, what? The west side of a tree. Look at the west side of the tree. It got more, look at the south. A crow. God damn. Okay, it's going to be some endings brought to her stability, her security. Like I said, she probably burnt this damn house down in the fall or something caught fire in the fall. And she was supposed to receive something in spring for what happened uh she was supposed to receive some sort of rebirth 
for what happened or maybe whatever you know uh thing the fatality i'm hearing and she was trying to build for you ended up having for her she's upset about something in the past something that may have happened in autumn maybe her birthday's in autumn she was expecting something in the spring but your ancestors stopped whatever this was she was expecting in the spring and that could have been she was trying to sleep with this man in the fall and she wanted to give birth in the spring or she slept with this man in the fall and uh gave birth in the spring because of some candle magic she was doing to contain something uh contain his passion that he had for you she tried to take you out of there while she was pregnant this woman could have been doing some real wild ass magic while she was pregnant some real wild ass candle magic while she was y'all check this out she invited this man over for dinner recently that's why she don't want him to use no condom because she want them to have another baby because something happened with this baby because she was doing magic on your ass and then she backfired and something happened to their fucking child it was her is she she's held responsible wholly for whatever she's did and she's being held responsible by her own ancestors they about to clean her spiritual gifts out. Whatever this magic she was doing, this repeated magic, she this repeated candle magic she was doing on moon cycles to try to keep something in secret or try to control something, try to conceive something, try to boost up her feminine energy in order to make sure that she got pregnant. This caused endings for a lot of things. Also an ending for her, an ending for a child, ending for this foundation, for this family she thought she was going to have. If she had a pet, she lost her pet. That pet could have been a guardian of hers. That pet is now gone. The ancestors have pulled back from whatever familiar or pet that she possibly could have had uh she lost her power she lost everything jesus she lost everything for doing this magic she lost this child she lost this man she lost her home because some shit got set on fire and look at this it keeps going back to pre pregnancy she's obsessed she's obsessed with getting pregnant she's 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 upset that he ended it with her it's like she has to stay attached to you and in order for her to stay attached to you she has to stay attached to him now this man is not even attached to you you ended the convers uh, uh, uh i'm hearing conversation you ended a lot of shit with him because he caused too much conflict and you moved on okay to a brighter day a brighter future is what i'm hearing and that's what she's jealous about she just wants you to be upset by this masculine but if you don't give a damn about this masculine what the fuck she's talking about yeah, you don't care. You invested a lot in this man. You don't give a fuck what he was. You knew he was going to betray you anyway. You probably knew he was sleeping with this one. I'm hearing you probably knew he was sleeping with a couple people. Okay, this man could have been getting hoes off the fact that you weren't cool with this woman no more. Maybe this woman was getting a lot of opportunities because you wasn't cool with her no more. Maybe she was trying to take opportunities from you because whenever you decided not to be cool with her, you didn't say nothing to nobody. It wasn't a big broadcast. You know, that's how you roll. That's how you do things. Anything happened to your life, you anything happened in your life, you keep it between you, God, and the people that happened with. You didn't broadcast it, but this person wanted to broadcast it to get some sympathy. Maybe go around and tell people that you betrayed them and they invested a lot into trying to get, you know, situ like things to work out for them. Maybe she was going back telling this mask and all kind of shit. Maybe she was going and telling other people they shouldn't talk to you because you a hoe and, you know, you'll take somebody man as well i'm here she was getting success off this shit but now people moving away from her because uh she's very money hungry all right she don't like she also like she really is crying and tripping because she continually wants to come and see what you're doing she can't help it the bitch knows it she is being told several times to keep her nose out of your business and she keeps sticking it in it and now i'm hearing got your nose okay it's a tower moment for her success and she want to stick your nose in my business bitch got your nose now look what you see so this woman over here won't fight fight again she think that you moving on even further okay she's moving on away. like does she Moving on the way even further to victory and her ego is what's like keeping her back. She feels like you have a lot of strength, a lot of courage, a lot of power. And you blocking her out of your energy, she's losing that. So she can't get clout off your name no more. She can't use your name no more. She can't use none of the none of the situations to achieve anything with this masculine. Maybe that was her ultimate goal to get success was to take this masculine. She felt like something between you and her happened in the past with this one masculine. So he came over there and obviously was having success with you. And then she saw soul. So she went to a spiritual teacher to try to figure out what to do to maybe hurt you or cause you some sort of illness cause him some sort of illness so he can stop messing with you maybe she wanted you to catch a std so that you know i'm hearing i'm seeing incurable uh but it's insufficient okay maybe she tried she had plans on paying for some sort of work for somebody to do some uh i'm hearing jar spares womb spells or whatever on you sour spells they wanted your cootie mama to smell rank they didn't want this masculine coming for you they wanted your cootie mama to break out they just wanted your cootie mama to have problems so they can control where this masculine and giving out his loving to okay that's what they thought that's what they wanted all right but that's why they're under judgment for going to this person also the spiritualist could possibly be under judgment as well 
All right, the spiritualist could be the one that's sick because they should have used their damn judgment and uh, knew better than to work on you. Okay, how about that? Now they sick, losing out on money, mad about that shit. All right, this woman wanted you sick. She wanted you out in the cold and you out here getting to the bag. Also, she can't keep her control because this man um, maybe was helping her with some money and he stopped doing that shit. This woman could possibly be trying to hold on to this masculine with the memory of that child. We family, we this, we that. So you know how the masculine will usually use you to stay, you know, next to you because y'all had a baby and the baby didn't make it, you know. She's doing the same thing to this man, trying to keep him from walking out. But it's like this man go sleep with everybody regardless of what the fuck this lady got going on because he got a bit, I mean, he got a female at home. Look, this nigga got a wife. I'm sorry, y'all, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she just a side piece anyways. She tried to get in on the side. Dang, for some of y'all, she... Hold up. <laughs> now, she feel like she been left out in the cold. She feel like she did all this. What? She feel like this man left you out in the cold. Maybe you and this man broke up. And this man could have been telling her that he left you out in the cold. He ain't no longer with you. Or he left whoever his wife is. And he ain't no longer with her. And he needed a couch to come sleep on. But she ain't got no couch to sleep on no more. Jesus. So maybe that's why this man trying to push his way over there to you and get to you and he didn't cut her off because she ain't supplying him with what he need. And so she trying to flip out and worry about your money because I guess she feel like he need to go some, stay somewhere or somebody. Y'all, this is horrible. She upset because her life is fucked up from the things that she did to you. Like I said, could have possibly burned down the house from some spell work, uh, didn't end up with the man or whatever. And the man went off and got with somebody else in a relationship. And she mad about all of this. I'm trying to look at the camera, y'all, to see how much y'all can see because I know I got my camera a different way trying to find a new way to do what i'm doing so hopefully it's working but anyways um dang see how they got me sidetracked somebody wants you sidetracked or somebody tried to sidetrack you somebody was a side bitch i don't know but this woman got upset because she saw that you and this masculine broke up or maybe she found out you and this masculine wasn't together no more the whole time she was trying to break you up with this masculine she could have possibly been trying to partner up with this masculine and he kept leaving her ass on red she kept sending a lot of messages and then one night he decided to come over there and sleep with her but that was after you walked away from him so he lied to her and was like yeah i got rid of that bitch and she was like ching you know on cartoons with the money signs pop up in their eyes mm -hmm. so she thought she had an opportunity but she already knew in order to get this masculine she had to use your energy see this is the type of person i had a situation like this this girl me and her was real real cool you know sometimes your spirit be telling you what you don't know this woman was so quick to say twin we just alike this is that and the third yeah so if you had somebody who you called a sister or you know you 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 was real close with this person and you used to call this person twin or whatever what else this person possibly was actually trying to mirror you that's why she was saying that sometimes the holy spirit will let you know what the fuck going on look at these two dolls i got up here okay remember i did that reading the other day about somebody's light wasn't shining as bright as yours you might have to go back to that reading um don't remember exactly which one it was it might have been that stick of fork in her she's done reading okay but um it's very much giving me those vibes it's kind of like this woman wanted to beef with you because she felt like you took a okay let's say you didn't know anything about spiritual stuff right and uh in this well let me go ahead and tell it i'm gonna tell the story i'm gonna tell the story because why not a little small mini story time of mine okay so this girl that i was cool with that i told y'all called each other twin or whatever all right so it was a situation where i was getting out i was i was in a sorry ass relationship no cap but i was staying with this man and so i was like okay i gotta get my shit together and move out i always got a plan before i disconnect from somebody completely because i have a child i need to provide a safe place for her to be and you know this man had churn so you know i was like well you know I can't just leave the kids out in the cold. We were together for like, a, I guess maybe a year. I don't know. I can't remember. But I ain't like them. And I'll tell y'all that story time again because that was crazy. Um, I was petitioned by their dead mama to watch over the kids because the daddy wasn't shit and he killed the mama, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm going to get into that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so this individual was uh, coming around, the masculine the dude was coming around and this girl was my friend and she was seeing him come around and i guess he looked at me a different kind of way he looked at me like i, I could i could feel he was digging on me you know what i'm saying i was digging on him too but i didn't want to get in the middle of nothing he was cool with the dude and i was like nah you know what I'm i don't want to do all that i don't want to be that but y'all it was something in me that was just like no bro no bro yeah that's what it was them two was cousins y'all check it out story time okay them two was cousins right 
and uh distant cousins they didn't get along you know like that for real but they came down there and all of a sudden you know he moved in the house because he needed somewhere to stay and we was all in there and mind you the dude that i was talking to previous like me and him wasn't going together but we were still staying in the same house um until i got my stuff together you know and was gonna gonna dip i ain't never i don't never want to let a narcissist know exactly what the hell i'm doing and what i got going on because you're not gonna stop me and lie to me and keep me held back you know i was ready for something new so i keep my business to myself i move in silence and I always move off what the holy spirit say y'all it was something that was bringing me in so strong to this this other dude and i was like no man they cousins they kin but i was like this dude right here i'm i'm really the nanny okay every night this man got a drinking problem he go sleep out with other people he come back in the morning he ain't sleeping with me he ain't touching on me he bathes his ass he go to work he come home he pay the bills he get drunk he leave he do his thing i literally ended up being the nanny the mama was trying his mama was trying to pay me to watch them kids because she didn't want to to be a grandma the the, the granddaddy was trying to pay me to watch the kids because he didn't want to be a granddaddy it was a crazy ass situation but it was too much for me and my baby you know what i'm saying but the mother did come to me and i felt bad for her and i was trying to you know do right by the spirit so anyways so this whole time this whole situation going on this girl who supposed to be my friend my twin my sister she know exactly what's going on she know this man ain't shit this man don't do shit for them kids this man don't do shit for me but his cousin he got off in his house is paying bills because he here his cousin is the one that's buying food because at the time i was a stay at home i had um ended up getting tricked out of one of my jobs because one of the people that i was supposed to be related to she was talking shit so i beat her up and then she called the police on me and they pulled i mean they 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 pulled my stuff up at work and called the police and told them i was up there because i had a warrant it was crazy um i didn't get bullied or no shit like that and i bonded myself out it was cool but it was just the fact that i ended up losing that job and i had to figure out what i was going to do as a side hustle to keep getting money you know what i'm saying because obviously the masculine in the house was not doing what he needed to do because he was mad he wasn't getting his supply as a narcissist will for you not giving me no cootie and no time and no nothing then fuck you and apparently he said fuck his kids too so i was in between being a nanny trying to figure out at what day i was gonna hop in the whip shift them churn off to their grandma house in alabama and bring my ass back home okay so it was a lot going on a lot that i was trying to figure out but this masculine was there through there throughout the time that i was trying to figure out plus he had a lot going on too so it was cool y'all know how that go being cool you know you can kind of see when somebody digging somebody you know so i guess people around us started seeing that you know like they look like they kind of like each other look like he like her or whatever because apparently the uh homegirl sister best friend whatever she picked up on it so i see her in my y'all this shit bothered this woman this is why the only reason why i really felt like me and this masculine was supposed to get together me and this masculine was supposed to be together work things out you know out of the karmic situations or whatever i was looking for me a divine partner and i felt like this person and he did actually read cards this man had the potential to be my divine partner okay but let me tell you what car 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 uh look look karmic kelly did all right um she no her name wasn't kelly either but you know this is i'm just a little nickname i'm giving her but she um uh, sat blatantly in my face and literally was pretending to be me to me that shit blew my mind y'all i speaks my mind i'm real blunt about what i got I, I say what i got to say you feel me and when she did it i said damn who was you because i'm real straightforward i like to play you know what i'm saying so i might have been real playful and i might have said something like oh okay you know i don't know i'm, I'm just an alpha female type of kind of assertive so if i'm digging on you i'm gonna let you know i'm digging on you you know barbecue meal do it ain't like i go around and dig on a lot of people so you know but when i open my mouth i open my mouth you know it's nothing if, <laughs> if i'm digging on you i'm digging on you you feel me so um that's just like outspoken and she's not outspoken like that but i am outspoken like that and she just all of a sudden was outspoken like oh you need to do this you need to do that walk me to my car blah jay squaj jay squaj jay and i'm like oh girl who you trying to be and no it's not like i just tell a dude to walk me to my car but if you digging on me and i'm in the house fraternized with everybody and i'm about to go yeah you want to say something to me come walk me to my car let me know what you feel outside of everybody you know everybody else hearing that's me i'm straightforward like that she was trying to do all that shit and i even asked her out loud i said damn who is this i ain't tripping go ahead and do your thing home girl because i'm already going through a situation you feel me so he feeling some sort of way because i he feel like he felt like i pushed him off on her so he's feeling some sort of way like i said y'all we not dating we not sleeping together we're not doing nothing wild it's just you can tell there's attraction there okay so um she just told him to come to her house and get some coochie child it was that's that's just it so she has slept with him you know what i'm saying he pulled up over there a couple times when he called himself getting frustrated about my situation and what i had going on because i would only allow him to do 
enough. I didn't want to, you know, overstep nobody's boundaries. I was just trying to get my shit together on the low and go. You feel me? I wasn't trying to pick nobody up out of the situation. I wasn't trying to get with nobody. I was just trying to get my baby, get my shit and go. And y'all, I ended up leaving all my shit and all my furniture. I didn't care. I told him he could have it. Him and his new bitch can lay on it. They can love it. I got good taste in furniture. You hoes got a home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was out of there. I don't care. When it's time for me to uproot, I uproot. Me boy, okay? So anyways, it's kind of like that situation. You know what I'm saying? She threw herself at the masculine, but in the end, the masculine still came back to you when both of them, like when me and him got our shit together, we decided to get together and continue to get our shit together. You know what I'm saying? So everybody was shocked. Oh, you was going with this man, this man. No, I wasn't. Everybody in the whole city knew he was sleeping around with everybody and their mama and no, he was not sleeping around with me regardless of what he told you. So everybody who was fucking on my expense, I'm sorry to tell you, he lied to you, honey. You gave up cootie for no reason. Females out there... Anyways, I ain't gonna get specific, but females out there giving up cootie for next to nothing just because this man said he was tied to me in some sort of way. He made sure he posted pictures online of what he did for the family when he did do something for the family. You know what I'm saying? When he was pretending to be a good person in a relationship, he put stuff online about um, you know, what he did and women was just waiting. Oh, I'm gonna go get up. You know how you know how some uh feminines are. Oh yeah, they look like they're living good over there. Let me go get me a part of it. Let me go jump in and let me go see what I can get out the deal. You know, so he was getting coochie out of my name. I didn't care, y'all. I ain't like him like that. Nigga was lame. I'm sorry, y'all, I said that word, but he was. He was lame as fuck. Anyway, um, oh yes, and he had something to do with them Masons trying to make me a sacrifice. His daddy was a big ass Mason and they was trying to make me a sacrifice. So it was a love spell that got me around him in the first place. He was sent. Um <laughs> he was sent by the big op. But um, so yeah, you know, I got away from him and me and the other dude, we started going together. And we went together for like two years before he spazzed out on me and decided to go sleep with my cousin and um make a family with her and stuff, but you know life is good over here i don't know about for that fool but anyway so that's that like that that's kind of what it's giving me it's kind of giving me like a friend jealous of the attention that you get from masculines and the lack of attention that she gets so she's gonna throw her cat at anybody who's trying to come towards you and i think that's what happened so she was going around while he meanwhile was getting cootie off of saying that he couldn't stand you and you was a two-time sneaky bitch she was confirming these things or trying to confirm these things you know making them seem like they were real yeah she is a two-time dirty ass bitch when i was cool with her she was sleeping with my baby daddy she slept with this she slept with that that's what she do she a hoe and he over here feeding off of it validating his bullshit yeah she is deep down inside both of them know they lying but you know you were building the passion in that relationship so now that this masculine maybe want to spin the block and come towards you this woman's upset she can't use that excuse anymore she got found out that she was doing spells to get this masculine she was very jealous of you and this masculine already knew that already see his thing is he liked to go around and because this is this energy i've been picking up on uh for like the past couple of days about the reading about this masculine getting married to his wife and is somebody in your family and this person a snake la 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 come to find out the reason that reading kept coming up is because this woman was also sleeping with this man so not only was he sleeping with your cousin your sister whoever that was she was sleeping with this person that's why you know it might have came out in the reading where it was like cousin or sister or somebody in your family this could have been a cousin somebody you considered a sister somebody you considered family okay these are two different energies and these energies, uh, I'm hearing, I challenge you to a duel. These energies could have been spying on this masculine and thinking they was going to have to fight each other for him. And they fucked around and find out this masculine wanted to come back to you because you were actually speaking your truth, telling your side of the story. Um, he's also being exposed, but he is really weird right now. I think he got two personalities and he's exposed to the fact that he was a karmic and he fucked up. Because like I say, he's a cheater. He knew what he was doing. He liked a lot of options. Now that he even trying to come back and get in your energy, honey, it don't matter. It don't matter how many readers or readings you listen to and they say that this man want to come back and he not gonna stop and he want to say he's sorry and he got tricked he got tricked he got tricked the only thing he didn't know was he was receiving the same karmic energy he liked to put out to other people he was receiving that you already knew this masculine was a little off brand you already knew this masculine likes to start shit you already knew this masculine likes to believe in fantasies and delusions he could possibly be a pisces energy this person is just very very focused and fixated on causing problems for people who don't do what he wants done and you weren't doing what he wanted done which was let him continue to sleep with a whole bunch of people and be with you so you left him or you decided to you know get him out of your life and he decided to go and sleep with a whole bunch of options and females was throwing their cat at him because of you okay this woman was getting dick from this man because of you he loved how she hated you because it made him feel good to have that same lower vibration about you half of him can't look the the, the part he shows the people hates you he can't stand you i'm hearing uh starlito ah i hate you too i hate you too what is it something something that ain't the truth I hate you too. So I don't know. He don't like you. Okay. First of all, all I wanted was time with my son, but something, something. Okay. Some secrets came out about a child. 
I'm hearing this masculine say he wanted some child with his son. Okay, so like I said, that other energy, that family member or whatever, she was also with it, with the sabotage. He was literally going around her sleeping with anybody because he was hating on you. He said he didn't like you. And them bitches ain't like you. So he was getting whatever he wanted, but he had a, all I wanted was time with my son. But the shit she did in secret caused them some sort of failure. They said they knew they were sleeping in the third party. I'm really pulling the energy that these two bitches clicked together and decided to trick this masculine. These two females click together decided to trick this masculine into having children so they can both be tied to him when he came and made his round back to you and they hurt because they plan didn't work out together now it's like him and some other i mean oh damn him and his baby mamas they all trying to figure out what you're doing or he made them suffer by talking about what you were doing trying to keep track with you they he had them mentally prison to do whatever he wanted but they was just one of the hoes in the line Okay, but now he's at loss, he's mourning, he's at regret for sleeping with these women, being in relationships with these women because of the lack of kids and the 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 the, the STDs. I'm also hearing that a message is getting out. This woman is upset and going through all this because she not only did she not have a baby, couldn't keep the man and get another baby, but she got an STD and she got the STD from the man, and the man got the STD from his wife. Sheesh. Because she was sleeping with somebody. Who maybe orchestrated all this hate for you in the first place? Who got this masculine upset with you? This could be a misogynistic masculine who thought that he was going to get around or get into your masculine's mind and play with him. Okay, so maybe that possibly could have happened because that's what happened to me in my situation. The reason my uh, supposed to be divine masculine chose the karmics and switched out on me is because I had a mastermind or somebody who at least thought he had a mastermind. I'm going to call it a mega mind. All right, it was a mega mind behind the situation trying to control and, you know, all everybody was ops and handlers and karmics and all that weird ass shit because I wasn't supposed to make it this far but anyway <laughs> that's what i'm getting again okay so it could have been a, another person that this woman caught this std from and she came and passed it along and now she could be getting in trouble the word is getting out that she passing stds because this woman got it she got it and the man got it now y'all remember like i say this go back to the reads we've been doing for the past couple days about that person like i said that slept with this uh your ex that was in your family okay everybody was this man baby mama because he didn't like to put on rubbers he'll pull a rubber out off of a rubber and then don't put it on i heard it didn't fit no way so maybe if he had a gold wrapper that gold wrapper don't fit i heard something about being too skinny pencil whatever they liked it because they thought you liked it they loved it because they thought you loved it all right and he was receiving justice just because he was getting his rocks off not everybody upset okay somebody could possibly be getting ready to go to jail somebody feel like they want to charge towards you and attack you uh maybe he feel like he had his guard dogs coming towards you and attack you with magic maybe with their words uh pillow talking trying to manifest negative things for you evil iron all right but he was out here uh i'm hearing out here giving dope d to everybody and now he owed child support or he would have owed child support to two children but now he's only gonna have to give the one because the other one is not there he can disregard this female the one that's worried about you that caught the std from him and his wife he's disregarding her because she lost a child she feels like he still should participate in things around the house and come to be with her. She's using this child to hold on to this masculine and she feels like he's considered a deadbeat because he don't give a damn. And people looking at her like, girl, technically the baby ain't there, but don't nobody want to tell her no shit like that. I think that's how she think about, I mean, that's why she think about you because you will tell her some shit like that. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> All right, this woman worked real hard at being jealous and trying to receive victory and didn't get it, okay? Her and this masculine both. Not everybody jealous with you uh, because they all got whatever this is. It's somebody else that's mad. Maybe the one that was trying to get everybody to come towards you is mad. All right, this woman is watching you. She's upset because uh, she is uh, distrustful. Her faithfulness. His distrust, oh, she feel like it's his fault that she got this STD. So she want to come to you and tell you the truth about it just in case he come towards you. Then she could pretend to be your friend. And she uh, want to beat him to you anyway. She just like, it's like, it's like if you stay somewhere, she want to be able to be over there. Or um, I, I guess I'm, I'm hearing this too. You know, I guess she feel like he going to come back and make a visit. And the day that he do, she want to invite you. Like she already want to be cool with you and invite you over to her house. And she want you to be over there when he pull up. Yeah, this is my baby daddy. This is the one I've been talking about. Like this girl's stupid. She fantasized is about causing you some sort of burden because she's having burdens all right as far as this home she thinks that you're very stable you have some money you got stability that's another reason why this masculine want to come to her because remember i told you she knew that this masculine was leaving his wife or whoever else he was sleeping with because uh uh he needed to come sleep on her couch but she burnt the shit down and she ain't got no couch no more so he can't sleep on it and he don't want to be with her he was like you ain't got the baby other couch fuck it so he don't want to come around no more mm. 
all right y'all uh still nacho problem you know nacho monkeys nacho circus uh this is just what's going on in the background i guess you know some people was questioning on why do i keep hearing about uh this couple this couple this couple well some of the energy that was coming out from this uh person that was in your family was this woman right here on the side were these women not fighting with each other no remember i said i think they knew yeah they was both getting money out the deal and getting what they wanted because they thought they was causing you some sort of problem or they was able to post some sort of shit online maybe they caught each other's online accounts um when they was posting this man i'm not seeing why they okay with that as long as they kept him away from you they felt like they won so hey y'all know how people will click together when they don't like you anyways this is it this is all my loves i'm gonna go ahead and close this down and we will get into another one so meet me in the next one